This morning, we're taking a live look at Jerusalem in Israel, where the war in Israel and Gaza is entering its fourth day. More than 1,000 Israelis are reported dead, along with at least 700 Palestinians. And at least 11 of those killed are Americans. We know the war is also displacing more than 100,000 people. Meantime, Israel says it's regaining control of its border with Gaza as the fighting with Hamas militants continues. As Alexandria Hoff reports from Washington, President Joe Biden is vowing to support Israel and protect American citizens still in the country. She joins us now live with the developing situation. Good morning, Alexandria. Well, good morning to you. And it is increasingly developing now. We are hearing word that some of those who are missing and missing Americans in Israel are being identified at this point. On top of the 11 Americans who have been killed since Hamas launched its attack on Saturday, the president says he fears that more are being held hostage. At sundown, the White House lit up in blue and white, a symbol of support and solidarity with the people of Israel. Airstrikes on the Gaza Strip have increased as Israel cuts off food and fuel supplies in retaliation for Saturday's brutal surprise attack carried out by Hamas militants. Hamas now threatening to execute hostages taken in Israel if the airstrikes persist. We have to accept the very grim possibility and the likelihood that there are Americans being held hostage. Later today, President Biden will address the nation following calls with key U.S. allies yesterday. The White House issued a joint statement saying in part... We make clear that the terrorist actions of Hamas have no justification, no legitimacy, and must be universally condemned. It continues, our countries will support Israel in its efforts to defend itself and its people against such atrocities. The Biden administration is working quickly to send available weapons to Israel, which requested precision-guided munitions, more interceptors for the Iron Dome air defense system, and U.S.-made small-diameter bombs. We should make sure that we're going to provide any ammunition. We store it there in Israel, provide it to them now. This isn't about weakening Hamas. This is about destroying Hamas. Congress hasn't been needed to deploy resources yet. It's a good thing because the legislative branch is essentially paralyzed after former House Speaker Kevin McCarthy was voted out of his position last week. And a Republican source tells Fox News that the war in the Middle East may speed up the election of a new House Speaker. Hannah. Alexandria Hoff reporting live for us in Washington. Thank you.